to those of you watching on this lovely June afternoon. I'm Taylor. And I'm Maria. And this is Triple JMT. Today, we are focusing on a nationwide issue affecting the people of America. The immigration reform. Immigration to America is dated back as late as the colonial times. Since then, immigration has become a greater part in today's society, which helps explain the term used to describe this country as the melting pot. However, U.S. border control has struggled to keep these borders sealed tight. Additionally, the government will be forced to spend more on welfare, causing a higher deficit. Illegal immigrants already in the U.S. would be able to gain provisional legal status six months after enactment by meeting certain requirements. And now we take a live to Jackie, who is in T.C. Right, yeah, so I'm here at Town Center getting some opinions from random bystanders towards their views on the immigration reforms. I would like to stay here. Uh, I, uh, I got a small asylum, so I got a green card uh, this year. Oh. So it's very lucky. Yeah. Do you feel like the government is doing enough to pass the bill? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think they're uh, being responsible at all. My opinion on that issue is that I think they should be still deported. Like, um, it's like a slippery slope. Like, I think it's important to go through the process like of immigration, like go through like application and stuff because um, I mean in this country like there's a lot that goes into like you know you have to make sure that you have like you can contribute to the country before you can come in. I think that it is very necessary and that it has to be approved very soon because the majority of immigrants of people that came to work in order to improve their living conditions and anyways, there were job opportunities here in the U.S. If it is not approved or if they deport the 11 million immigrants that have been calculated and maybe even more, I think, the construction, many farms in Texas will be shut down, the gardeners, and many industries that depend on the immigrants. That's all I have for you guys today. This is Jackie Padilla reporting live from Rockville Town Center. Now back to you, Maria. Well, that was a very interesting interview. How about that? I wonder what the president has to say about it. Oh. We just got footage about what the president said the other day. Oh, really? Let's play it. I'm here today because the time has come for common sense, comprehensive immigration reform. The time is now. I, I, I'm here because most Americans agree that it's time to fix a system that's been broken for way too long. I'm here because business leaders, faith leaders, Labor leaders, law enforcement, and leaders from both parties are coming together to say now is the time to find a better way to welcome the striving, hopeful immigrants who still see America as the land of opportunity. Now's the time to do this so we can strengthen our economy and strengthen our country's future. Think about it. We define ourselves as a nation of immigrants. That's who we are, in our bones. Right now, we have 11 million undocumented immigrants in America. 11 million men and women from all over the world who live their lives in the shadows. So we've got to fix the system. We have to make sure that every business and every worker in America is playing by the same set of rules. First, we strengthen security at the borders so that we can finally stem the tide of illegal immigrants. We put more boots on the ground on the southern border than at any time in our history. And today, illegal crossings are down nearly 80 percent from their peak in 2000. That's common sense. And that's why we need comprehensive immigration reform. We need Congress to act. But this time, action must follow. But it's important for us to recognize that the foundation for bipartisan action is already in place. And if Congress is unable to move forward in a timely fashion, I will send up a bill based on my proposal and insist that they vote on it right away. We've got to lay out a path, a process that includes passing a background check, paying taxes, paying a penalty, 
learning English, and then going to the back of the line behind all the folks who are trying to come here legally. That's only fair. So that's what comprehensive immigration reform looks like. S smarter enforcement, a pathway to earn citizenship, improvements in the legal immigration system so that we continue to be a magnet for the best and the brightest all around the world. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Breaking news. The Judiciary Committee has approved the Gang of Eight app. Now we go to Joanna a lot for the report. Thank you, Taylor. Not too long ago, the Judiciary Committee of the Senate approved the bipartisan Gang of Eight Act immigration reform bill. Now the bill is up to the Senate for debate. Hopefully, none of the Senate will filibuster a prolonged speech designed to kill the bill. But if it does, Senate may vote for a closure, which consists of 60 votes. This is a huge step to push forth the reform. Now back to you. So Taylor, I find it interesting that there are so many contributing to cost immigration reform. I agree. The March of Innovation is one of the largest virtual marches. Now we send it to Jenny with more details. Thank you, Taylor. The March for Innovation is the largest virtual march that involves grassroots mobilization. It took place on May 22nd and 23rd, 2013. They had a large surge of contacts to Congress through social media such as for Facebook and Twitter. Many phoned Congress as well as lobbyists setting up meetings with congressmen. By doing this, they put pressure and attention to the immigration reform, causing senators to use their representational view to go in favor of the reform. Back to you, Taylor. Thank you, Jenny. People outside the political world are striving to pass the bill as well. Celebrities such as Arnold Schwarzenegger and Russell Simmons are hosting Twitter town halls to retreat supporters. This will probably gather a lot more support. I mean, these are pretty big influential people. They made it big in Hollywood, and Arnold was even a governor. I think it is interesting how so many are trying to enforce the bill, and it's surprising how much of an impact they have set it. But Taylor, that's not it. There are tweets, vines, and other posts promoting the reform, which is very helpful in gathering supporters because this kind of media is used in our everyday lives. Here's what some people have said on Twitter. User KL South tweeted that in a poll, 73% of Americans favor securing the border before making changes to immigration policy. Latina Magazine tweeted that Stars Unite for a new immigration reform campaign. Innovation Movement tweets to users that Congress needs the immigration reform by emailing or texting. And our very own President Barack Obama tweets that the immigration reform will not only benefit families, but the economy as well. And let's get it done! Well, that's it for today. I'm Taylor. And I'm Rio. This is Triple JMT. Coming to you live. For a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit get up. First shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy up. Yeah. Bad, moonwalking. And this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway and we did it all way. Chrome music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yeah, I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put all